Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life by James Patterson. Chapter three, at least I've got Leo. Do you remember that nursery rhyme about Jack Spratt and his wife? How neither of them ate the same thing, but between the two of them, they got the job done? Same deal with me and Leo. Except the fat and the lean are words and pictures. Make sense? I do the talking and Leo takes care of the drawing. Leo speaks to me sometimes, but that's about it. Conversation just isn't his thing. If Leo wanted to tell you your house was on fire, he'd probably draw you a picture to let you know. The guy is about as talkative as a giraffe. <laughs> oh, I've got a thousand of them, ladies and gentlemen. So, say hi to Leo. See what I mean? Besides, if it's true that a picture's worth a thousand words, then my buddy Leo has more to say than anyone I've ever met. You just have to know how to listen. Bottom line, Leonardo the Silent is my best friend at Hills Village or anywhere else. And before his head gets too big to fit through the door, I should say there's not a whole lot of competition for that title. I'm not exactly what you might see in the dictionary when you look up the word popular, which brings me to the next thing that happened that day. <laughs>